I'm Madeline Burke alongside Paul Dettino with your two minute drill. Paul, the Giants are on the road this weekend facing a very talented Baltimore Ravens team that is scoring at will these last few weeks. Yeah, over the last three games in particular, Madeline, we're talking about almost 120 points combined. I mean, they are on fire and it's all starting with the former MVP, the guy who really lit it up last year, quarterback Lamar Jackson, whose legs are probably even more dangerous than his arm. At least so says safety Logan Ryan. There's nobody that can simulate them. And um, playing against him last year in the playoffs, um, yes, he's different. He's a world-class athlete, he's generational talent. Um, not many ball carriers run like him with the ball in his hand, his speed, his ability to change direction. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a former MVP for a reason. So um, he's really, really good. You have to play really fundamentally sound. I don't think it's a one-on-one -on -one tackling game with him. I don't think you want that. We got to win our jobs. I really like our front. I really like our ability to stop the run. But there's nobody to simulate him and his speed. It's something you have to adjust to and something you have to be ready for. But if, if we had a Lamar Jackson to simulate him, we should probably play him on offense in the game because I, that guy would be really good. So Jackson has run for over 800 yards this year, Madeline. Remember, he and Michael Vick are the only two quarterbacks in NFL history who have put up 1,000-yard rushing seasons. He's got a couple of 100-yard games to his credit this year. He's run for four touchdowns in the last three weeks. And, oh, yeah, he's also throwing the ball like a dart. Guys like Mark Andrews, his tight end, that guy's caught seven touchdown passes. Well, while the Ravens' run offense has been quite elite, so has the Giants' run defense. Their sixth-ranked run defense has only allowed one 100-yard rusher this season. That was Benny Snell in Week 1. So they They've got that run game locked down. Let's see if they can continue that into week 16. Also for the injury front, Daniel Jones is listed as limited in Wednesday's practice. He is optimistic that he is working his way back from the hamstring and the sprained ankle injury. We'll see how that plays out as practice continues this week. All right, that's a wrap for your two minute drill for Paul Dottino. I'm Madeline Burke. Continue to stay up to date on all the latest big blue news on Giants.com or Giants social media.